It's time for the One Bar and Lepica Show, bringing you anything and everything Minnesota Vikings. Welcome to professional football. All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lepica Show. I am Lepica with this week's fantasy focus. We are looking at who you should play um, in the contest this week, Vikings versus Titans. Um, well, when it comes to the Titans, pretty much just start every single Titan you have on your team because the way the Vikings defense has looked, with all the injuries it has, um, two corners down, new linebackers in, uh, things should get ugly quick in this game. But I think the biggest Titan you'd want to start, and the guy who's going to have the biggest game, is tight end Jonu Smith. Um, this dude already has three touchdowns, eight, rece- eight receptions, 120 receiving yards. And with A.J. Brown out, he's clearly going to be Ryan Tannehill's number one target in the passing game. The Vikings are coming off a game. Give up over 100 yards to the Colts' backup tight end, Mo Ali Cox. I believe that was his name. Uh, just a lot of confusion when it comes to the linebackers or who's supposed to cover who. Uh, Eric Wilson looked lost out there. And, and whether it's Todd Davis, Ryan Connolly, or, or whoever, Hardy Nickerson, who knows who's going to be out there this week. Uh, it could be ugly, ugly, ugly when it comes to trying to contain John U. Smith. And, and the Titans use this guy all kinds of ways. Every now and then, they'll even let him carry the football. Uh, slip screens, uh, going over the middle, going down the seam. Uh, he has just uh, become a primary focal point of their passing attack, and this dude is you know, extremely fast. He's big, he's thick, he's hard to bring down. Uh, it could get ugly quick for the Vikings when it comes to John W. Smith. Another Titan you're going to want to start if you have him. Uh, this is pretty obvious, but it's running back Derrick Henry. Uh, the Vikings never seem to do good with these power rushing types, uh, whether it's a scrub like Rashad Penny or... You know, a stud like Derrick Henry, uh, when teams run up the middle, pound the Vikings, they, they don't seem to do very well with that. Um, I mean, Henry is the definition. He is the top rung on the ladder when it comes to power backs in the NFL today. Uh, he hasn't scored a touchdown yet, but I definitely expect that to change. Um, this guy could probably go for a buck fifty. If we're giving up 100 yards to Jonathan Taylor, uh, Derrick Henry could have, you know, much, much more than that. And I do expect him to get his first touchdown against the Vikings. Um, the last Titan you're going to want to start for sure is quarterback Ryan Tannehill. Uh, again, everybody hears Ryan Tannehill, and then they associate his name with his struggling tenure he had down in Miami. But um, this dude is super efficient. He just he puts the ball where it needs to be. He's already thrown for 500 yards almost and six touchdowns. Um, what worries me most about Tannehill uh, is he's got a little bit of the Ro- Aaron Rodgers in him where he can create that extra time in the pocket. Uh, the Vikings pass rush isn't there again. Uh, he could have all day to throw, and against our beat-up secondary, it could get very gross. Mm. That sip was not gross. All right, uh, sneaky play for the Titans with A.J. Brown out. Corey Davis will bump to wide receiver one. Um, unless you're playing in a really deep league, you probably aren't going to start him, but he might be worth a, a cheap play in a, in a daily fantasy, whether it's FanDuel or DraftKings. Um, Corey Davis could be uh, a nice sneaky play if you're looking for a cheap option. Uh, for the Titans. Moving over to the Vikings, um, not a lot of guys you're going to want to play right now. I mean, there's really, you can't count on Kyle Rudolph, you can't count on Irv Smith Jr., um, but there's two guys who, who should have decent games. Uh, Delvin Cook is one. Uh, the Titans front seven isn't all that strong right now. They gave up over 100 yards to undrafted rookie James Robinson last week. Um, the really only thing holding Cook back from a big game is his offensive coordinator, Gary Kubiak, who just does not seem to want to feed him the football. For whatever reason, makes no sense to me. But uh, you know, we talked to some Titans fans this or Titans guys this week, and they said their their run defense has been a, a problem so far, and they are very concerned about Delvin Cook. So Gary Kubiak, from every single fan who wears purple and bleeds purple, run the damn football. Uh, another Viking who I think is going to have a decent day is Adam Thielen. I don't think this guy is going to put back to, put up back to back turds. Um, Titan secondary is also banged up. They're, they got a lot of injuries back there. He could be going against some second stringers, uh, and you know he should school those guys. So I, I think Thielen's going to have a bounce back day. And you know damn well Kirk Cousins is going to throw him the ball. It's all he does. He only throws to Kirk. He only throws to Adam Thielen. Uh, so he should see plenty of targets, and I think he'll have uh, a stat line closer to Week One than what it was last week against the Colts. Um, one last uh, Viking sneaky play is uh, wide receiver Justin Jefferson. I believe he was my sneaky play last week, but Cousins has to start spreading that football around. Uh, I guess if you're looking for a guy who's number two on his trust list right now, it probably is Jefferson. He needs to be the Vikings' number two receiver. He can do so much more than B.C. Johnson, and I love B.C. Johnson, but uh, Jefferson is the you know the Vikings' first pick this year for a reason. Get him involved. Use him. 
feed him the football as well. I want to see, you know, Jefferson have at least eight targets on Sunday. And, uh, you know, hopefully he can do something with these because he's a very, very talented player. Again, Titan secondary, very banged up. So that is your week three Vikings, Titans, fantasy focus. Um, yeah, it's hard to uh, say how this one's going to go, but we will have our official prediction video coming up later. Uh, so look for that. Uh, until then, always keep your skull in your hole.